All right, adventurers, welcome to Alt Play. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a game called Steam World Dig 2. Uh, this is the second in the Steam World Dig series, uh, and I actually have not played the first one, whether for the channel or for myself. Uh, but I can say that this is a game that we could just jump into and, and we'll get it pretty well. I think there might be some like smaller details that we're missing, uh, but we can we can still understand what's going on in this game without having played the first one. I also want to say that I was given a code to play this game both for the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, so in the description below, you'll find a link to where you can find out more about this game for yourself as well as how you can connect with the developers. Okay. Also, I want to try something something different. Like I said, I have two codes for this game, both for the Switch and the 3DS. I've already played through on the 3DS a little bit. I played through a little bit, and I think I understand the game pretty well. But what I want to do with this version for the Switch is I want to play for about an hour, just about an hour, and see how far I can get and see what all we can learn about this game. Uh, without for any further ado, let's begin. Oh, new adventure. Now let's begin. Oh, uh, do I want on normal or easy? I'm going to go normal. I don't remember whether I played on easy or on normal uh, for 3DS. I think it might have been normal. I'll play normal now, too. <sighs> Missing. Rusty, quiet type, height, one tile. Contact Dorothy McCrank. That's actually interesting. I always I caught this joke the very first time. Height, one tile. <laughs> they stand one tile, one tile uh, tall. Where have you gone, Rusty? Okay, uh, so the game doesn't exactly work on a on a grid system, but it kind of does. It'll make sense as. As we play, it'll make sense once we get into it. Miners wanted. Continue east to El Martino and dig up your destiny. All right, so you can walk back and forward. You can jump. I can I can swing my pickaxe. All right. So those. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm not. Okay. So those squares there uh, were basically the tiles. So the character, or, or uh, Rusty, is one tile high. <laughs> okay, so we can wall jump by walking and jumping against this here. There's no limit to your wall jump. There's no limit to your wall jump. You can wall jump to your heart's content. Uh-oh. I will say, though, that you can't wall jump. At least I'm not skilled enough to wall jump up and over. Let's see. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. 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 Boom. Ouch. Okay. Scrap. Gosh darn it. My light broke. Wow, what is this place? I have to explore to find another way out. All right, so we can dig. That's what you use your pickaxe for. And that's ultimately one of the major mechanics of the game. I, I suppose the first game would have also been about this. Now, I can't jump and use my pickaxe. I have to be standing on the ground. On, on ground, I should say, to use my pickaxe. But I can use it in all four directions. And as you can see, there are some tiles are different colors and those require a little bit more work for me to uh for me to pickaxe them. Alright, so there's a switch up here. Open that door there. We'll go there in a second. I can swim. I don't have to worry about drowning. And if you look at the top left corner, that's my health. And that's my health. Obviously if you run out of health you're gonna die. Oh! If you get smashed, you're gonna die too. Oh! I didn't see it here. That's a switch. So I gotta be a little bit faster to to make it through there. It's just outside of my range. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. 
Let's go to the left. Oh. Okay, so we got traps here. This place is booby trapped. Oh, it only did it once. Let's see. Alright, I can't pick through that. I can go through this though. Oh! Joke's on me. Oh, when it came back. Hmm. Let's see, do I want to go down here? I guess so. The arrows are pointing downward, huh? Uh. Let's go this way. Uh, one of the things you kind of want to do, and I learned this the hard way. You want to kind of strategically dig so that you can get back up in the direction that you need to go. You don't want to just dig everything. Remember, you got the wall jump, and that's your that's one of your many abilities you can use to your advantage, but you have to use everything smartly. For example, let's see. I went this way. Let's say, okay, so let's say I want to, the, the torch that's down into the left one. Let's say I want to dig... Let's say I want to dig that square out. I think this is a good example of what I'm trying to say. So if I want to, I got to find a way to get here. But let's say I want to dig this square to the right. If I go down first, it's going to make it really hard for me to do it. Like, remember, I have to, I have to position myself in a certain way. Remember, I can't jump and dig. So I can still stand on the edge here and get that. But I have to be very careful. Like, it's very easy to trap yourself. What's over here? Hey, there's a machine. I'm not going to touch it. That looks dangerous. Oh, oh, joke's on me. All right, so what was over here? Actually, let's go touch that machine. Because I think, yeah, it's another one. It's another one. Let's go touch the machine. All right, we got the sprint hydraulics. I got to hold the Y button to run. All right. And again, I think there's no limit. Yeah, there's pretty much no limit to me running. As long as I'm holding the button, I will run. Uh, which helped me clear both this door trap and those spike traps that were over there before that I fell on before. More health. Y and B is for the run jump. Huh. Huh. Who would have thought? That helped me clear this jump that was otherwise impossible. All right, now I'm going to have to do it over here to avoid that. All right, we got a little bit of parkour action. Oh, 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 keep it moving, shouting. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was the opposite direction. That was This was the one I was trying to get through before, wasn't it? I think it was. No, it wasn't. All right, so let's see if I can go backwards and go anywhere else now. I think this is what I was thinking of. This is what I need it for. Yeah, I got to be faster. Dope. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. So you see I can use my run jump to, to jump off the walls and get a little bit farther. Let's see. I think I should have kept going. I want to get up there and see if there's anything up for me. Uh, okay, so that, that path clearly wants me to run across it. But I want to see what's up here first. Oh, nothing for me at least. Let's see, what's down here too? I, I try and explore. I mean, you guys, I think you guys pretty know, know this pretty well. But I try and explore everything that I can without wasting too much time. Okay, so this is just... This is just my fail state of not being able to run and jump fast enough. Okay. I try and explore all the open areas I can without wasting too much time. Uh-oh. Oh, glorious gliding light. Please shine on me. Yes, you may bask in my destructive glow. Blessings. Wonderful rapture awaits. Ooh. 
one shot. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Sweet, another pilgrim. But I'm not a... Get ready to be zapped. Pew, pew. Alright, so he's going to try and gun for me. And then to top it off, he can destroy blocks. So I got to be careful. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. I actually don't remember what to do here. <laughs> uh, how about... Oh, wait. I think I need to hit that light. Oh, it's destructive glow. Oh! Oh! No? No? And that it? What happened? Oh, his thing is open. He left his thing open. Okay, I see what it is. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, he ain't like that. He ain't like that. I mean, I understand. I wouldn't like it either. There we go. Get up there. Get up there. Woo! Oh, he really mad. He really mad now. He's he's shooting in every direction and moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kia. Got him. Woo! What's up? Oh. <laughs> hey. I was just about to light you up, you crazy cultist. I tried to tell you I'm not a cultist. Really? You bots all look the same to me. You look like some sort of Vectron sprite. How's that possible? My friend Rusty destroyed Vectron before he went missing. This cult stole me and plugged me in here to be worshipped. They wanted me to zap them. <laughs> hmm. I can't do a thing without my cool totem, though. So what are we going to do now? Well, I'm going up to the big city. I heard that Rusty had been seen there. To the city, you say? All right. If you insist, I suppose I can come with you. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of my furnace. What? And float around here all bored and lonely? Your furnace is warm and comfy and pestering you is fun. <laughs> Darn it. I don't have time for this. I need to get out of here. He <laughs> sounds like you need my help after all. I've already scanned this area and I guess I can let you use my map. Now let's get out of this place. <sighs> well, all right. Come on then. All right. So in the top right corner, you can see the map. Uh, there's also a blue arrow that's pointing in the general direction that I need to go. Uh, and then on that X, that X is the exact spot I'm trying to reach, I believe. Let me see if there's anything else up here before I, before I bounce. Come on. Come on. I guess I can go to the right now. Yeah. What we got? What we got? What we doing? What we doing? That way? I can't. Oh, yeah. I can't get up there. I would say, how am I supposed to go there? All right. So this door here is where we need to go. So this is what the surface looks like. It's bright. Hey, your map is great. Could you use it to locate someone? Not even if I cared. You remind me of those nasty fin lights from our father's stories of the old country. I'll just call you Finn for short. I'm Dorothy, but my friends call me Dot. Yeah, whatever. I'm going back to, to your furnace now. Wake me up if something interesting happens. This game is on the nose, boy. All right, I can't touch that. El Machino, vibrating with opportunities and adventure. Vote Yonka. All right, so let's follow the arrow. Let's continue to follow the arrow. After we talk to these folks. Why, if it isn't young, Dorothy McCrank. Trader Carson, I didn't think I'd meet anyone I knew this far from home. Say, what's been going on in that little tumbleton of yours? I've heard all sorts of rumors. Maybe later. Short story is, a friend of mine's gone missing. A traveler saw the posters I put up and told me he'd been seen entering the mine in El Machino. Now, the lift up to town is broken, so you have to climb the cliff to get up there. I'll be up there shortly myself. 
Come by if you want to buy some upgrade cogs. The better handle that, they're mine. All right, let's talk to this woman. That earthquake made the elevator come crashing down. Ah. Ooh, did someone get crushed? Why, I never. What sort of terrible thing are you? Hey, I'm not a thing. If I had my totem, if I still had my totem, I'd zap you right now. Well, whatever you are, you need to mind your manners. Excuse me, ma'am. Finn hasn't really learned people skills yet. Break that box. There we go. In reality, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the elevator's out of order. All right, let's see. We're climbing to the top. We're going straight to the top. And ain't nobody going to stop us. Uh, as you can see on the map, I don't think I... I pretty sure i didn't mention this you can see on the map it doesn't just tell me where everything is uh i can i can i have to explore that area for me to find it first so like i don't know what's directly above me mostly because i can't see it on screen but also because if you look at the map uh it's out of it it's like out of my character's like field of vision you know it's, it's, it's got a small window of stuff that will reveal to me so i can come over this way we can see if there's anything over there there's not i know there's not i'm not gonna risk jumping I learned what that does. Cause you to die. Nothing there either. All right. Still traveling. Still traveling. All right. So, Machino, the population is 105. Hey there. Keep calm, people. Well, actually, these earthquakes are something to worry about. I've already told you. My seismometer is getting some really strange readings. There are more important things to worry about, such as keeping the ore flowing. You idiot. Why don't you listen to the experts? Ma, please. These experts with their facts, they're missing the big picture. And what about that red scarf miner that never made it back up? I've already hired a guard to prevent more unprepared bots from disappearing. Now let's all keep our heads cool and just remind ourselves that the mayor's office is not to blame here. Idiot. A red scarf miner? That must be rusty. Finally a promising lead. I think these earth cakes sound promising. Nothing like a bit of chaos to liven up an adventure. I need to talk to the mayor about entering that mine. All right, so we got a new, new, new uh, objective. Bottom right corner. We need to enter the mine. We need to enter the mine. Let's go talk to the mayor. Hey, now I'm late for my polish. If you've got complaints, leave them at my office. And if it's about the quakes, don't bother. Some shaking is just normal in these parts. I'm not here to complain. I just need access to the mine to search for a lost bot. Ha! What I need is to get the mine running again. You don't even have a proper light. You're just as likely to get lost yourself, and I can't afford that. Not this close to an election. Hey, tell you what. There is a safer area to dig in. Just to the left of the ladder down in the mine. If you can dig up or buy to buy yourself a new light, the guard will let you enter the real mine. All right. Uh, so now we're in. We we've actually reached the the actual main part of the game now. Uh, what we need to do is enter the mine and dig up ore. As far as I can tell, like I said, I've I've played a healthy amount of this game. As far as I can tell, this is this is the game. This is the game here. You're digging up resources. That cactus will explode when you dig into it. If you take a look, one tile to the left and then one tile down, that there, that there is ore. That is the ore. Uh oh. I think I woke and I woke awaked. I think I woke up a beast. Alright, so we just got us some ore. You can see in the bottom. Oh, this is actually really cool. They didn't do I don't think they did that on the 3DS. They didn't uh it didn't show me on that screen. What I would have to do is pause the game and go look at my inventory, my resources, whatever. Uh, ore is worth money. 
You gotta you take that back to the town and sell it, and they well, they will give you some money to buy some upgrades. Uh, that thing crawling at the bottom right, I accidentally woke that up by digging too close to it. I think I'm gonna wake up that one right there, uh, to the left and then down three tiles. There we go. Is awake. Is awake. Okay. Uh. Okay, so we 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 really just gotta oops. we really just gotta dig enough to get enough resources to be able to buy the next light, uh, and I just attacked, I attacked that wonderful that wonderful creature. I have no idea what his name is. I've been making the, I've been making up names. <laughs> I've been making up names for him. I can use my pickaxe the same way I dig to attack as well. And often they'll drop, often they'll drop resources. So we've got trashium so far. All right, so I think I've collected what the game has determined as enough resources to sell for enough money to buy a a light. And if you look at the the trashium, which is that gold one on the far left, it has four yellow markers underneath it. At the most I can carry of anything right now is four. I can only carry four of any one resource. Uh, so you can see that second one is a blood gem or something like that. Uh, I only have one of those. Those come from defeating enemies. Now after I've gathered the resources, I take them up there to this gym. Hey, got anything shiny for me there? All right. Say the town's whispering about the fact that we found a fresh bot to work the mine. I'm actually here looking for a friend of mine. Quiet type. Wears a red scarf. I know the bot. Looks like the real McCoy, but boy, was he a flat tire. Didn't come back up even once, see? I hope you'll do a better job, kid. All right, so now we sold those resources, and now we got to fix our lamp. We do that by going here to the workbench. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to do upgrades, I believe. Yes, I want to do upgrades. Uh, so let's go ahead and fix up our lamp. You do that by spending money. We got one extra dollar. You can see our money in the top right corner. I had seven before I bought the, the upgrade for the lamp, or the lamp in general. And now I have a tier two lamp and only one dollar. All right. So now with an actually working lamp, we can enter the we can go to the next area. That area to the left that we went to before is just kind of like a training area. It's not it's not the actual it's not the actual factual. It's just so that you understand the base mechanics of the game. Go down, dig up resources, bring them back up, sell them, rinse or I'm sorry, upgrade, rinse and repeat. All right. So now one more mechanic before we actually start digging. If you take a look at the top left corner of the screen, uh, you see a circle with a fire in it, and then it's got what looks like a, a pretty much filled bar with one part that's very much brighter than the rest. Uh, that is how much light I have. Once I have no more light, I won't be able to see where I'm going. I can still dig deeper, I just won't be able to see the areas around me. So as I move, you note that you can note that uh, the fire, the ring around it, is going down. That's because I'm using my light. So I just lit up this lamp here beside me. About time someone started mining these tunnels again. Finally, I'm on the right track to find Rusty. I reckon, I reckon your compadre had to pass through Red Rock Passage one time or another. Normally, you could use the pneumatic tube system to get there and back. It clogged up during an earthquake, though. It'd be smart to clear it out first. Now, how about I just open these hatches and let you down there? All right, so now we can dig. Just one last thing, miss. You're about to explore a large and hazardous world down there. If you like to keep track of where you're headed, you can use these markers on your map. Okay, so I can either choose to have those markers or not have those markers. Um, it kind of... Honestly, I think I've been playing without it. 
I think I've been playing without it. Don't know why. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, for the sake of this video, I'm going to play with it. I reckon that's a sign of a wise bot. If you want to, you can always talk to the markers on or off at the workbench up there in town. Now, I won't keep you any longer. Good luck clearing these tubes out in Red Rock Passage. Okay, so now we can go down deeper. Oh, we can actually enter from either side. It doesn't really matter. They're both they're both going to take us to the same area. It's just if I want to be picky. Okay, what I was saying about the light before, this lit this lamp up. So we don't have to worry about when we leave not being able to see this area. This lamp will be lit forever. As far as I know, it will be lit forever. Uh, one, again, once that ring in the top left corner has gone out, I won't be able to see where I'm going. So unless I light a lamp, unless I light a lamp, I'm wasting light. So I, I kind of want to dig so that I can find lamps. And the game will let me know once I'm out of light completely. You can see the ring around me is going down as well, or the light around me in, in my actual middle character, or character in the middle of the screen. It's even flickering. Okay, so the light's out. Hey, it's getting dark. I can hardly see a thing and I'm made of light. Go up to town and replenish your lamp so I don't get lost down here. Alright. Uh, so we gotta get... Well, we don't have to get back up. Again, I can continue digging. I just will have no idea where I'm going. And that'll be true every time I come back down here. If I come back down, go this way, and then drop down here, then the same thing will be true. My light will run out. It'll run out right about here, I believe. It'll run out right about this way. So we just wall jump back up, get ready to roll. And I can, I can immediately go right back down. Again, uh, the point is to gather resources, sell them, upgrade our tools, rinse and repeat. We want to do it over and over so that we can, we can explore more and more areas. Uh, I, know, I know someone might have asked, why would you keep going back down if you haven't upgraded anything? Well, you need to you need to keep getting resources so that you can upgrade stuff to get better. Now, as far as I know, resources oops, resources don't respawn over and over. I think there there might be a finite amount of resources in the game. Not entirely sure. All right, so this lamp is lit, which is good. That's good. Let's dig deeper. Oh, shoot. I should have gone to the left. Okay. See, that's why I was talking about mining carefully. You want to be careful that you be careful that you don't dig yourself a hole. Like, for example, this rock here. This rock is not a solid part within the within the, the mines. So if the tiles underneath it are, def are whacked, <laughs> if they're picked out, then uh, that rock will fall. But because I have nowhere to stand to get to it, it's, it's pretty much there. It's pretty much there. You wanna you wanna mine carefully. You also wanna attack carefully too. All the enemies have different uh, attack patterns and things that they do. So you just wanna be mindful of what what could happen. All right, so there's a rock here. I should be able to use this one to my advantage. Lights out. I'm gonna stay down here just a little bit because I'm I'm okay. I'll be all right. Oh, shoot. Worked like a charm. <laughs> okay. So defeating enemies will cause you to level up. It will give you experience. And with enough experience, you'll level up. Now, as you level up, once you start to sell things back, you'll get more and more bonuses. For example, oh, let's see. I want to, I want to demonstrate it using the exact same amount of things that I had before. I had four trashium and one blood... Uh, one blood gem. So that's what I have right now. Four trash gem and one blood gem. I know that that probably... No, it didn't. It didn't make a, a blood gem. Okay. So last time I sold this and this got me, what, seven, seven gold, I believe? Let's see if I sell this now. I leveled up once, so I get a 5% bonus. I believe it's a 5% bonus every time you level up. We're going to skip through this. Just a hot second. Uh, he's not really saying anything new. 
Uh, the five percent isn't much. Is is not much considering what I had to sell. I'm sorry. It was six. I had six. I made six uh gold the first time. It's always gonna give me the benefit of the doubt in the event that I have a bonus, but it's not like a whole value. It's gonna round it, round it in my favor. So that five percent bonus gave me one, one extra gold, which is which isn't much, but it'll add up. It'll it'll add up over time. Let's see. I want to dig to the left here. Now I believe I saw. Let's see. I can do that. That. Hang on. I want to do this. I want to do this one. Okay. Because I can stand on the edge here. Okay. Got it. Let's see. I want this to be able to go down as far as possible. Yeah. I just realized this rock here is gonna be in the way. That is a solid rock. I'm not gonna be able to break that. But that's okay. Rocks are moving with me. Okay. Okay. I believe I saw that the next upgrade for the lamp is is uh twenty dollars, which isn't bad. It's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, buddy, you do the digging for me. You do the digging for me. I'll do when I'll do the clawing for you. All right, so we just got the next core, or I'm sorry, ore, which is copper. As you go deeper, naturally, the the what are, what do they call it? the the ore will upgrade. The ore and how much it is worth will upgrade. There's a door here. All right, so every so often you'll reach these grottos or these rooms, and they are uh, basically they're puzzles. They're puzzles where you can find things that'll give you give you a lot of value or they'll upgrade you and things like that i'm sorry or yeah or, or there's upgrades okay so what's cool about this room what's cool about this puzzle here is that these metal grates keep me from wall wall jumping upward i can't wall jump up them so i gotta find another way to get up there and get that special glowing box all right it's saying i need light but this room is well lit so i don't need to worry about it too much Okay, so this is my opportunity to learn about the game's mechanics, specifically rocks falling on my head. No matter how much health I have, if that rock falls on my head, I die instantly. So you got to dig and move. Got to dig and move. I believe that's how this... Oh, I found a secret area. Okay. So a lot of times there'll be... It'll look like there's a solid wall, but you just got to explore and find that there's a secret area. Which is always dope. Because then you can find secret things. And then, of course, we made it up here in one piece. I got a wall jump across that. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. When you grab... It, I don't know if you've noticed this, and I'm just noticing it for, for like, the first playthrough. Uh, when you have light, the music is different from when you do not have light. Yeah, I really can't. I really can't make that jump, huh? Uh, they put it just out my way. Okay. The light, the music changes between when you have light available and when you don't have light available. Here we go. All right, so this here is an upgrade cog. Uh, one of the robots, or excuse me, one of the bots uh, back in town mentioned that the upgrade cogs are, are tools that I can use. All right, so we got just a little bit more light. It's not going to be enough. We're gonna, We're absolutely going to run out. Oop, can't go that way. Dang it. Is it gonna Yeah, it destroyed that it destroyed that ore. Ore is also not invincible. Ore will be destroyed if uh, a rock falls atop it. Or the blood gems, things of that nature is is not all not invincible. Uh this way. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's sell this stuff that we have on us. <clears throat> Dope. All right. 
Uh, let's see. Let's check the upgrades real quick. Okay, so we have... One upgrade that we can get right now it is a backpack. It makes it so that we can hold more and more uh, ore as well as gems uh, while we're underground. So right now we can only hold three different groupings. Before I mentioned that I'm only allowed four of any one type. That's not exactly true. Let's say I find four copper while I'm underground. And then I find a fifth one and I go to pick that one up. That'll take up another space. So I can hold three sets of four of any group any group of ore or gems does that make sense is that was what i'm trying to say makes sense to you all right let's get the let's get the backpack upgrade so now we can hold more stuff also we can look at our mods our mods are basically what's going to give us different abilities even with our upgraded things. So, for example, right now our light only works so far underground. And then our backpack can only hold, I think it can hold four things now that I just upgraded it. Uh, if I have enough cogs, what I can do is upgrade the backpack so that when I die, I lose fewer resources. Uh, when you die, you lose resources. <laughs> you drop them where you are and I don't think they're there when you come back. Uh, but the, the backpack will make it so that I don't lose so many. Only thing is I need two cogs and I only have one available. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Let's head back down. Let's head back down. Like I said, this is the meat of the game. The the whole digging, upgrading, digging, selling, upgrading, digging is, is the meat of the game. It's the meat of the game. I, I enjoy it. I really like it. It's it's a it's a nice mix from like the typical games that I would normally play. Uh, let's see. I want to find a way. What I'm trying to do is not waste so much light. They say the the quickest way, the quickest way to get anywhere is a straight line. So I'm gonna try and not go off path too much. But I also do need to. Oh shoot! I can't get to that lamp. Not right now, at least. Not from this side. I'll have to go back on the other side. They say the quickest path anywhere is a straight line. So I'm going to try and go down just a little bit. But like I said, I don't want to block myself off from too many paths. I want to be mindful of the area that I'm digging in these mines. All right, there's another lamp right there. And you can, you can see that I'm getting further and further with each one. With each, uh, with each attempt in the mines that I take. Let's see. I want to go this way a little bit. What does this say? Red Rock Passage. All right. So we're almost here. Oh, there it is right there. All right, let's see. Can I get there in this trip? I don't think so. Okay. So these rocks are special. Or this dirt is special, I should say. It's not going to let me dig it, huh? Not from that side, I don't think. There we go. Okay. Once you dig through it, it you can see the line, the, the originated, original lines on it. They will break along that path. This must be Red Rock Passage. It's caved in, all right. If you had some explosives, you could blow this rubble right away. That's actually not a bad idea. I should go back up to town and ask around. Yeah, explosives. Maybe you'll even blow off some of your parts. Sheesh. Let's just clear out that magnetic, uh, excuse me, pneumatic tube, should we? All right, so let's dig this out. Dope. Okay, so why did I clear this tube out instead of going all the way back up? Uh, basically, this is going to make it so that I can teleport right here. So if we take a look at our map, we'll, all, that, all that yellow space in between the blue up there and where we are now is what we'll save. Just by teleporting all the way back. Hey, I never authorized the reopening of these tubes. Bolt your jaw, son. The tubes are the best way to move about the mine. Red Rock Passage is caved in from all the earthquakes. You can't prove the quakes did that. Could have been anything. Either way, I'll need some explosives to clear it out. I bet you can find some explosives down by Burster's mining station. Just a bit more to the east when you head down again and you'll find it. 
All right, so it's going to show me on the map in which direction I need to go. Okay, so even though we, we found an easy way to warp there, where we need to go is actually to the right of halfway down. Okay, uh, let's sell this junk. Dope. And I don't think we can get an upgrade here. No, none of these. Let's see, there's some other things that we've unlocked. Uh, we got the map, we got the sprint hydraulics, and that's it. Those that at the bottom, those are kind of passives. Those are abilities that don't necessarily upgrade. This gen has a thing. My word, these earthquakes are troublesome. The mayor must really have someone look into this. What if all the wonderful treasures down there get crushed? Perish the thought. So I guess you really like precious stones. No, no, no. I'm speaking of real treasures, fascinating and strange artifacts. Something splendid with its own marvelous tale to tell. If you happen to find any such artifacts, it would be lovely if you would let me have a look at them. I think I found something you might find interesting. Oh, splendid. You found one fascinating artifact already. To show you my appreciation, I shall hand you a blueprint from my stack. You simply have to take it over to the workbench and use the cog mugs to put it to good use. I will give you another uh, another blueprint if you can show me three artifacts in total. Okay, so this is another way to upgrade things. This will let me unlock something. Let me see. The, what was it? The gaze of something? There we go. The gaze of Odin. Uh, di uh, displays your enemy's health. Once you've damaged them, available for one cog. Let's go ahead and use that one cog that we have already. You can keep track of how many what how many cogs we have available in the top right corner of the screen. Not how many we have in total, but how many we have available. All right. Okay. Uh, so now it'll show up the enemy's health after we've damaged them uh, at least once. Back down in the mines we go. Let's see. Where are we going? Where are we going? We need to go to the right, it said? Yes. We need to get about halfway down and then go to the right. Now, you also take fall damage, so you want to be careful that you don't fall too far off one jump. Easy way to do that is by wall, 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 wall sliding, I guess. I can't dig to the right from down there. That rock is in my way. But I sure can dig from the right here. It'll be okay. There's our enemy's health. Don't want to go down? No, I think I need to go up a little bit more even. Okay. We're going to end up having to... <laughs> we're going to end up having to leave and come back. I've already spent a lot of light. Let's see. I'll have this thing. I'll have that rock there break a lot of the path for me. Oh, oh, never mind. I goofed. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just don't want to break in a way that's going to trap me. There we go. Well, guess what you did, chill. You got trapped. Oh, chill, you just made things so much worse. You just made things so much worse. Uh-uh. And then that's where I went before. Oh, yeah, I made things so much worse. So much worse. How far up do I have to go now? <laughs> oh my god. I think I think I've destroyed this game. <laughs> Let's go get some light. I'll go get some light. I see the enemy still there? Yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. We have to go to work. All right. Oh, shoot. And then that's going to... It'll break the one. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Again, these will uh, drop like drop like spikes, and they'll destroy things. They'll destroy things that get in my way also. There we go. 
It also happens if you destroy the block underneath them. They'll also still be destroyed. Let's see. I want to get the get the gems. I get the yeah the the ores. There we go. Uh oh uh oh uh oh. It's getting ugly. Come on come on. No, it didn't destroy that. Okay. So we got copper up in here. Come on, big boy. There we go. There we go. It's a chain reaction. All right. I believe this is the spot. This is the area. Uh-oh. I can't dig through this side. Okay. So let's see. Let's try and not destroy so much. I'm getting I'm getting getting kind of hectic. How about I go this way? Yeah. Oh god, the box fell on me. I tried to avoid that for the for at least this whole hour. Yeah, I couldn't. Alright, in we go. Alright, so this is Burster Station. Give me some light, please. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, hang on. is there anywhere up here? I guess not. Let's go to left. We can check that area to the top out later. And I can dig through this, yes. Oh, they don't like water. They don't like water. I do. I love me some water. Uh-oh. Another another machine. Got the pressure bomb. All right, so I can throw a pressure bomb by pressing X. It's great. It's just very short range, so I guess I need to be a little bit closer. All right. Dope. This is going to let me destroy things at a distance from the side. I don't need to be standing beside it to, to destroy it now, which is great. Uh, you saw me just jump in the water right now? Oh, I think I can also... No, I can't use it in the air. Dang it. Uh, I can also throw it upwards by holding up. And let's do, actually, let's do one for fun. Okay, so if you look at the top left corner, beside the, the, fire, the light wheel and my health, we have another gauge that we need to look at. That gauge is whether or not I can use the pressure bomb. Take a look. Take a look at the top left as I use this pressure bomb shooting upward. Each one of those bars is the ability to fire one more pressure bomb. I refill it by jumping in water. Bodies of water will refill my pressure bomb. So at the moment, I can only fire two pressure bombs, which isn't bad. That's actually a lot. It's actually a lot. There's not too much I need it for right now other than destroying blocks to the side or high above. Yeah. Barrel for $10. I could also use it against enemies. It's pretty dope, huh? Oh, we leveled up again. Dope. And there's other things we can buy at the workbench. So one of the things I want to do now really is keep track of where all the buys of water are. The, the buys of water don't deplete. Excuse me. They don't deplete when it comes to... Uh, traveling or filling up the the pressure bomb, so I use them over and over. I also want to use uh, them strategically, so I have to keep running back to get it. Let's see if I can solve. Let's see, I don't think there's any puzzle here. I think this was solely so I could unlock the the pressure bomb and get out. But we can explore. I believe. Let's see. This one's got a separate color. If you look at the map. The color's a little bit different. That might be a clue. There we go. There we go. The map is the best way to figure out where hidden areas are. But sometimes the clue is a little bit more obvious if you're looking at the, the actual game.
Come on, Buster Brown. And then we got this bit here. Oh, that was that fills everything up. That spinning circle there fills up my health, my lamp, and my pressure bomb business. Another secret area. All right, we got another. Uh, what was it? Another artifact. We need two in order to. We need two in order to uh, get another. What was it? Get another blueprint. I just want to check to make sure I didn't pass anything up. I think I got everything. Nothing else really shows up on the map. Oh, I can't get back up that way. Well, well, that's what I get. That's what I get for being an explorer. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, wait. This is Blood Gem. I don't think there's anything over here at all. Uh-uh. This is how I dropped in. I don't think there's anything. Let me see. Nah. Woo. <laughs> That was a big hit. Woo. All right. Out of light again. It's okay. It's okay. It'd be all right. I like the music when I'm exploring and I have light. Music without light isn't bad, but I like the music when I have light a little bit more. All right. We're out of light, so probably the best way to, to go about this would be to GTFO to go back home. And then we can just teleport back to that farthest down area we made it to already. And we can uh, use explosives. That was the whole point. Let's sell all this stuff that we have on us. We actually got a lot of money. We're probably going to be able to upgrade one thing. Yep. All right, I want to upgrade the light one more time. I uh, noted that your armor has some dents in it. My new shipment of thick plating will let you upgrade it. So you have a better chance of, you know, surviving down there. Um, What do you want to do? All right, so now the sturdy armor is available. Uh, I have 37 gold. I'll be able to upgrade any one of these things. Any one? I think I want to go light. Let's upgrade our light one more time. Okay, and now because we reached a certain level of upgrade, we have larger than light. It's another mod that's available. It'll increase our lamp light radius. Uh, like I said, we're only allowed so many cogs at a time. What I could do if I didn't want to do the larger than light uh, mod, and where's the other one that I got? The other mod is this one, right? No. Where's the other? Oh, the, the enemy health. I'm not too concerned about enemy health. So what I could do is I could take that one away. If I wanted, what I could do is put both of those mods or those cogs, excuse me, on Reaper's Discount, which is going to make it so when I die, I lose fewer resources. Uh, again, I'm not too worried about death. If I die, I die. I'll be all right. And our uh, Pressure Bomb also has a mod available. It stops Pressure Bombs for hurting me because Pressure Bombs can also hurt me if, I, if they happen to explode too close to me. I'll go ahead and do that one. So I have the one that stops pressure bombs from hurting me, and the ones that the one that increases my lamp light radius. The mods are actually really interesting in that they oh where I want to teleport is up here. Sorry, uh, the mods are interesting in that they help they help you play the game very differently, very differently. All right, back down to Red Rock Passage we go. So this is what we want to set off because we have no other way of uh, attacking that. We, we can't stand on the edge and hit it. We can't jump and use it. So we might as well blow it up. All right, let's blow this thing to smithereens. You really need to talk to someone about this whole wanton destruction thing. I'm talking to you about it right now. When am I not talking about destruction in general? Yeah. Set it off. All right. <laughs> Boom! Let's do that again. These bombs sure will come in handy. They'll be able to reach places my pickaxe can't. I guess I should go tell the mayor that the passage is open again. Alright, so we could leave and go talk to the mayor, but that would waste uh, this lamp. Let's not. Let's set that off instead. Remember, the lines are the path that's going to destroy. 
And we got some barrel. Oh, we got some barrel. Is this a secret right here? Let me get some water. Let me find some water real quick. Oh, right here. Perfect. It's actually a little bit hard for me to see that map. I remember the map on the 3DS being like it's, it's near perfect for me to see. It's a little bit hard for me to tell where water is on that map. Yeah. Another cog. Still trash him. We've come this far in the world and there's still trash him about. Makes me sad. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, let's go get some more water. I, d I typically don't like taking trips back above ground if I don't have to. I try and, I try and avoid it until uh, I've actually gotten a lot of treasure. I don't have to max my bag out, but I want I want a lot of treasure so it makes the trip back worth it. But once again, the whole game is this whole explore exploration ordeal. So to be taking a million trips back, I won't say it's not fun, but it's 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 stopping me from doing the game's main gameplay element. Yes, okay, it didn't destroy it. Good. Sucker. Sucker Man Jones. Got him. Even more light. Even more light for you fools. Come on. Alright, so I could shoot those up, but I don't have enough water. Remember, each each uh uh oh. Each one of those bars represents how many times I can fire the fire the pressure bomb if it's full. Dang it. Okay, I can do this one still. Got him. But it also took the gem with it. I didn't get the gem, but that's okay. Okay, we can go get that cog down there. What I could do, because I hate, I hate having to press this a million times. To be honest, <laughs> it makes me want to upgrade the pickaxe. I'm assuming, and not really, because I already know. But I'm assuming the pickaxe will upgrade. The pickaxe will upgrade so that these these uh, rocks that require me to press it three times will instead, uh, will instead do it two times or, or even three times. I think he's going to kill himself. Yeah. He got himself. He's a joke. <laughs> he's a joke. Let's see now. The light hasn't run out because we've been killing so many enemies uh, and it's it's been recovering. It's wild. All right, it's another cave down there. Let's make our way in there. Here we go. This is the cave in catacomb. All right, it's gonna let us restock our health. I'm sorry, not our health, our light. All right, so as we can see, I'm gonna have to set this one off. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a chain reaction which will result in those rocks falling over my head. I gotta get out of here quick. There we go. That's a big boulder. That's a big boulder. All right, and once again. Now this one, I think I need to run in and then run out. Not sure. Oh, I'll have to run in and run out. I have to come in here and grab something. Oh no, come in here, set this one off, and then run out. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I wasn't making, I wasn't trying to not make it. I almost got killed for real. That would have made me sad. That would have made me sad. Another cog. We have a total of three spare cogs. Dope. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure none of these are secret areas. I see one right up there. I just don't know how to get up there. I wonder if I got to run it. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
So we got uh, another artifact, which means we'll be able to go get the next blueprint from old boy. All right. We're going to run out of light soon. I don't know the fast way to get back. I think we just have to backtrack. I think backtracking is our is our method at this point. Yeah, our lights flickering. All right, here we go. Take this man. Wait, 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 wait. Take this man. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. There we go. No, I hit the right button. It just didn't do it. Okay. All right, we're going to backtrack and get up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. It's the wrong accent. I've been doing, I've been doing grainy, ornery old people in Westerners. <laughs> this whole time, and then all of a sudden, I do somebody from uh, someone from New York. Let's go back. Okay, uh, let's sell all this stuff. No, wait, that's not how you sell stuff. Now that Red Rock Passage is open, oh, wrong person. Now that Red Rock Passage is open, I can look for Rusty deeper down. Hey, that bot's still missing. Well, just don't forget to bring some of that valuable ore up with you now. It should be clear mining all the way down to the protective wall, dearie. I guess your pal could have slipped through one of them darn cracks in it. If I was you, I'd head down to Mason Station. There should still be an old equipment machine down there that'd make your life a whole lot easier. You mean the one my... You, yeah. You mean the one my idiot brothers walled in last year while laying brick? Well, Tarnation, I bet you can find a way around the brick if you scout the place. Hey now, report any opening you find to me so I can have someone pass the wall up later on. All right, so our next objective, dig down there. Uh, let's sell these goods. Let's sell these goods to this old gent. Oh yeah, we's gonna be upgrading. A bonus 10% is a lot, bro. 10% is a lot. And then I'll deliver. I'll deliver the la next two artifacts to this fellow. Oh, splendid. You found three fascinating artifacts already. To show my appreciation, I shall hand you a blueprint from my stack. I shall give you another blueprint if you can show me six artifacts in total. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our look at Steam World Dig 2. Like I said, this game is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, if you guys would like to see more of this, feel free to let me know in the description below. I'd be glad to play some more of this. I, I haven't gotten too far into it, so I don't know everything. I don't know everything. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video or love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you get notified whenever I go live with the live stream or whenever a video gets uploaded to the channel. Thank you for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play.